It's Jewish American Heritage Month, a time to celebrate our local Jewish communities while also standing up against anti-Semitism. 22 News reporter Christina Demores joins us live from East Hampton, where the city is doing just that. Yeah, that's right, Sarah. In fact, a resolution was proposed and later passed tonight by East Hampton City Council, and it's to reject and condemn anti-Semitism in all forms. Taking a stand against hate and bigotry, East Hampton City Councilor Owen Zared, in a joint effort with leading local Jewish organizations in the Anti-Defamation League, proposing a resolution to condemn anti-Semitism in the city. Anti-Semitism is a somewhat invisible uh, form of racism and oppression. We don't think about it a lot, despite the fact that the numbers are at all-time highs. According to a report by the Anti-Defamation League, it showed an increase of anti-Semitic incidents happening across New England, with Massachusetts ranking second highest in the nation. If the resolution is passed, the city of East Hampton will pledge to officially reject, quote, the perpetuation of anti-Semitism and condemn anti-Semitic acts and statements as hateful expressions of intolerance fundamentally inimical to American values. Among other efforts, the resolution also includes recognizing Holocaust Remembrance Day, as well as providing education to residents and students about anti-Semitism. If we can start having these conversations and move the needle forward to make progress before we see more incidents of anti-Semitism taking place, this is the time to act. Both Zared and Gorenstein say the hope is that other Western Massachusetts leaders use this resolution as a model for their communities, adding that the work to combat anti-Semitism in our area has only just begun. So again, that resolution was passed tonight and will now be sent to the Rules and Government Relations Committee for further discussion. Working for you in East Hampton, Christina DeMores, 22 News.